Hi, this is John Yar with Hot Toy Sideshow Review, and today I am reviewing the rest of my Batmobile collection, but it happens to be uh, my favorite part of my collection. I would have to say that um, my grail piece is in this photo right now. Uh, when I was a kid, I always loved Batman, and I had a Corgi Batmobile, and it was my favorite toy ever. I took it everywhere with me, and just one day it was gone, and I always wanted another one. I uh, could never find them, and when I did, they were just... Um, way too out of my reach money-wise. Um, if there's w one thing you want to trade in, it's either diamonds or Corgi Batmobiles because uh, they really, really um, hold their value and they go up in price uh, quite a bit. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of research you can do on them, unless you go to some London sites, and uh, then you can find out more about the cars. But these were the first Batmobiles uh, that were produced uh, when the Batman and Robin TV show came out. And uh, so like, the first one that I had gotten was this right here, this uh, 1976 model, and you can see that it doesn't have the little flash and light, and the antenna wasn't there, and uh, it's missing a robin. Um, it also has these uh, 12 spoke wheels with plastic tires and uh, the flame doesn't go in and out that's some ways um, that's one way you can tell it's a 76 and by the wheels and tires you can tell it's a 76 so this is the first one I bought and um, w would you believe it was in the 300s um, that I pay for that car. Um, the next car that I got was this, which was a nice example. Uh, this is a 1973 uh, Corgi. This one, come back. This one has Batman, and it has Robin sitting down. It also has the red light. Now, these came with some missiles that would go inside these uh, little ports here and would shoot out. And you can see again the tow hook. That was for the bat boat that came out in, I believe, 1967. Uh, some of the stuff the car did... Um, was the pulsating flame on some of the models. It shot missiles out of the top. And as you can see here, if you press this antenna array, a blade chopper will come out of the front of the car. Get that back in. This car has eight spoke wheels and a smooth tire. So you can tell that this is a 1973. Uh, another thing with the Corgis is when you have the box, it makes it like 10 times the price of one without a box. Uh, the boxes are, are almost as valuable as the cars. And people, there is a market where people redo Corgis and have uh, boxes made up and fraudulently sell them on eBay because uh, they get so much money for them 
because uh, like a car like this is about five hundred dollars. Um, but the grail of my collection of everything probably is uh, this car in the back. And this is a 1966. This is the first uh, ever Batmobile. Uh, and this is the top of, this is the box, the top box, and this was the inside of the box where it came with a display for the car. And if I take it out here, you can see that it has uh, red bat wheels on it. It also has a chopping block right there. You can watch the exhaust on this car because it'll pulsate in and out when you move it. And it doesn't have a trailer hitch because there was no bat boat then. Um, when Corgi came out with the bat boat the next year, they gave you a small plastic piece that went over the turbine. Um, that was pretty much lost the first day on everybody. So they went with the tow hitch. Um, but, you know, Batmobile with the tow hitch is kind of whack, I always thought. So I always wanted to get the the 66. Um, sure, I didn't have a 66 when I was little, because I, I probably got it new. They made it up to 83, I believe, the Corgi uh, Batmobiles. Um, uh, you can find a lot of information about them um, in London and UK websites. There isn't a lot of information about them in the US uh, just because it was made in the UK and a lot more were sold there and the better condition ones. Uh, there is a huge uh, restoration market for them so if you do manage to find one uh, for a couple dollars it's all beat up uh, you can get every single part that you would need to make it look like a brand new Corgi. They even have uh, reproduction boxes. A mint Corgi, um, I wouldn't say mine is mint, I'd say mine was near mint. But a near, but a mint Corgi will go for a little over a thousand dollars. Uh, just 66 here um, was in the mid nines so you can see why people uh, do uh, buy you know wrecked ones or refurbish them and pass them off as cars that um, are original but you can tell by uh, rivets and certain things looking at them if you if you know corgis so if you want to collect them just be careful um, do as much research as you can uh, on it before you buy one so you know you're getting a real thing and uh, hopefully you guys will uh, maybe get into them like me because they're a really fun hobby so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon with my next uh, review, okay?